Hi. Well, he's just like, <laughs> he literally just pointed like a ca- giant camera at my face. I'm Colin Irwin. <laughs> I should have said that. Like, <laughs> on the, that would be hilarious. Hey, where was my mullet when I needed it? Oh, I know, man. I sh- you should have called me. I got that blonde wig. It would have been perfect for you. Nice, you would have been great. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Bernie Dyke Podcast. Tonight is a special episode because, you know, I got somebody famous here tonight. Oh, so, oh my God. Oh I'm Lord. stepping it up in the world. <laughs> Uh, this is my buddy Colin. Um, how do I say it? Every time I try to say your last name, Rasmussen. Rasmussen. Three syllables. Three syllables. You remember how to <laughs> clap out syllables? Yeah. So Colin Rasmussen. Colin and I are good buddies. So this was hilarious to me last night when I was getting ready to shoot my podcast with Duran, and uh, it started coming through. And I was nice. like, "What in the hell?" I was like, <laughs> I, was, "I thought it was a joke. I thought they were sending me the other guy that had done yeah, it a few happened. years ago." Yeah, right. And I was like. What in the hell is this? And then I was like, oh my, oh my God, it's Colin. And then I was like prancing around the house. I'm like, he's famous. Dude, that's funny. I yeah. was so happy. You texted me at like 930 and you're like, dude, you're famous. I had no idea you even saw it. That's funny. Yeah, dude, it was cool. So for anybody that doesn't know, um, and I'm going to let Colin tell his own story, but Colin, Colin did some cool stuff and he saved a, um, it was, was like a red tail squirrel or yeah, something like that. Yeah, red tail squirrel. News is calling the chipmunk, but it's definitely red tail squirrel. So yeah, man, <laughs> I mean... You know, so you were out doing pools. Yeah, for sure. So tell me the story, dude. I mean, because I know you guys deal with this type of stuff quite often. Yeah, I mean, we do pool service for a living. So walking around, you kind of see dead animals in the pool a lot. Mm. Well, walking up to this one, you kind of see about six inches. It started kicking. I was like, that's not right. What the heck's going on? You can see it where you're like on the opposite side of the pool? Yeah, I was like, you know, approaching the pool. And yep. you can see this little animal kicking. And, you know, I go around, go to the gate, oh, you know, get up there. And I'm like, oh, no. He's sinking. Like, he's still kicking, but he's sinking. He all was right. trying. Yeah, he, he was, was trying. trying. So out. I was like, all right, this guy's still a little fighter. So I grab my net, pull him out, and give him a little CPR, you know? So That's crazy, dude. It's kind of funny. And it's, you got to be careful. I mean, the thing's tiny, dude. True. It's like squashing a bug almost. <laughs> you know, he's filled with water. <laughs> yeah, it was like if you just took your finger and you just pinch it to where you could feel your bone, that was it. He, he wasn't moving. Oh, he wasn't moving at all. Like, when you pulled him out, and, like, I saw the, the video of, like, when you started doing it, he was not moving at uh-uh. all. Like, dude, he was done. Yeah. Like he when kicked I, when his I first, last kick. I was first doing it, I was like, I don't know if this is going to get anywhere. But, you know, just keep trying and trying. And soon, like, he started breathing. I was like, or, like, I'm, like, gagging. I was like, oh, no, he's moving. Hell, yeah. So I kept so going. what happens there? Is it, like, you're keeping the heart going? Yeah. So the, the main function, um, you need air, oxygen in your in your blood so you don't have to breathe necessarily because there's already oxygen in your blood so you just gotta have to keep it circulating because your brain all your organs need it so that's what you're doing you're just compressions keeping that blood flowing okay and then that's you know eventually will bring you back to did you already know that stuff or did you just recently learn this yeah so i, I recently went to uh, emt school so mm. i just graduated about a month ago Damn. So this is like my first uh, official life yeah. stage. <laughs> a chipmunk. You know, That's so awesome. just, but I mean, dude, you guys see that stuff. Probably not like that to the point where yeah. you still see him moving, but you guys see dead stuff in there oh, yeah. all the time. Oh, yeah, all the time. So it's not yeah. uncommon to see rabbits and lizards. and Right. It was just kind of like one of those things you expect to see something dead in there, mm-hmm. but you're like, he's still kicking. You know what I mean? Like, he's so, been in here fighting. So you got to give him a shot. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And it did. How long did it take? It wasn't. It wasn't it's probably very like long. a seven minute process from start to finish, something like that. Maybe longer. I don't know. Wow. And then he just came back and he was running around and that yeah, was pretty cool. Yeah. The coolest part was uh once once all done, he ran off and then he like stopped and then turned around and then I pet him for like thirty seconds and then that was it. So. And then he took off. Yeah, it's like you know one of the, he's just the respect you show know? Yeah. gratitude like dude. Right. Thanks, homie. My wife. She wasn't going to be happy. <laughs> I was just supposed to go out and get some water real quick. Come right? back from, you know, me and the homies were at the bar. Dude, the best part is like oh, everyone so like uh, responding through Instagram and just telling me like their funny stories of like, you know, getting rabies or like that. Like, oh, no, he's going to go, you know, bang all his girlfriends and have a good old time. And you give him a second chance. Somebody just said funny the story. hawk's coming to get him. I said, <laughs> yeah, cut yeah. it out. Right? Man, give him a minute. Let him breathe. <laughs> Let him breathe. He just started learning how to do it again. Let him get out there for a couple minutes. Yeah, so. So that's wild. I, but that's not even really the crazy part. Crazy part was I posted it on my personal story without any intentions of it. Mm-hmm. It was just like, hey. Yeah. You life know, of, check this out. This life is, you know, this, guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't get to do this every day. So, like, check this out to my friends. And then somebody picked it up. They reposted it. 
and it was just a crazy whirlwind of like I had over 2000 views on my story. I don't even have that many followers, dude. Like so that That's, it must have like the algorithm must have pulled it up, something like that. Somebody tagged like I've had people messaging me like oh i had to repost this i'm like that's crazy i don't even know who you are but that's cool you anybody know I mean? start following you not or really try. no yeah maybe a few but it's just been like well i didn't post it so it's on my story so it's not all actually my feed you know i, I was gonna ask well i mean we we're gonna fix that <laughs> right because i have a video for you so right. that you can put it up on on all your stuff um but man it was cool and the video's cool because like it kind of it's it looks like it was a pretty quick process it right. Like I, I mean, I think when I when I was done with the videos, it was about two minutes, a little bit shy. Of well, two yeah, minutes. when you're recording, you're only but getting ten seconds. Of, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, getting ten Snapchat. seconds at a time. So there's about five or six of those videos. But it's wild how like quick. I mean, God, you had a news station at your house within the next day. That's what I'm saying. So after somebody like reposted it, I got a message through Instagram. Some um, guy at Trail Print, he was like, "Hey, I reposted this. The news wants to do an interview with you." You know, call this person. I'm like, really? That's funny. Like, this is more than I ever expected. Like, <laughs> I wasn't even like looking. Yeah. So, news came. They interviewed. Once it aired, and it was just like a whirlwind from there. Other news stations: twelve, fifteen, ten. It went on national news this morning. My uh, uncle in Iowa called my dad. I was like, oh my gosh, I just saw your son on TV, and just like, yeah, just crazy stuff. That's wild. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's good to see a feel-good story. I tried to watch the news. Well, that's what the guy and was it's saying. Yeah. Wild, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I come from a small town, so the news is, you know, it's still a little wild. You see some stuff, but dude, when you see the news in Phoenix every day, you're like sitting back, like, are you kidding? Or is this a trailer for like a freaky movie or something? Like, right. what's going on? So to to see like cool stuff like that on there is kind of neat. And hopefully this takes off a little bit more for you because I mean, I know you'll get tired of telling the story. But you, you know, and you guys see a lot of cool stuff out there. Javelina and snakes. Oh, and on the daily for sure. Cool tortoises. Yeah. I just saw a cool tortoise this week because I'm yeah. out there every now and then yeah. sneaking around in backyards, pool guys. So, uh, are you going to be doing any of the stuff with the EMT or what are you? What That's are your plans the plan, with that? man. So just doing the EMT. I just graduated, um, applying for like the fire department stuff like that, and then uh, possibly doing paramedic in January 2020 cool so dude. that'd be cool it just found this very interesting world i guess and learning's cool yeah you know and this is a uh, when you want to <laughs> right because boy when you don't want to learn something it's a pain in the ass yeah it's tough yeah. but like that's another thing about this career is i've learned like especially in the medical field you're constantly learning you have to keep up with everything so that was yeah. like that was a really fascinating thing that and you got to get it right you know what i mean like Oh you yeah! You can't just fuck it up. You got to get it right the first time. Yeah, so you no, fucking some, know your shit. somebody's gonna know about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's exactly. not like sweep it under the rug. Yeah, exactly. Like, Dude didn't make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm wrong bag. I grabbed the wrong bag. <laughs> right. You know, grab the gym bag. Yeah. So you, you better know your shit because I can't live without my shoulders. No. <laughs> No, and and I was kind of giving you shit last night when I was like, "You're a hero," and you're like, "I'm not a hero." I'm like, "Yeah, but you would have saved a human if they were, you know, even in the water." So it's yeah, not. True. No matter what, the fact that you took the time to save that little dude, I know a lot of people that would have just tossed him in their bucket <laughs> or thrown him over the wall, dude. Like, yeah, I've had like people like you know, a life is a life because I'm like, it's not a big deal to me. Like I was just doing me. Yeah, and you can make like, it only. That's the best part, but it, it is kind of cool though. Just doing me. <laughs> that's a, that's a nice little karma stack. You know, like, yeah. I don't know if karma's real. It's probably not, but there's something. And I swear to God, like, <laughs> when I do a bunch of nice stuff, sometimes I'll get on a roll, just do some nice stuff and be like, oh, that felt good. I'm going to do a little <laughs> bit more of that. <laughs> I'm stacking up those points. Right. And, you know, the That's weekend a, is coming. <laughs> this guy, he goes, he goes uh, so should we expect you to be saving more chipmunks out there? <laughs> like, you just tell him, yeah. like, dude. I actually put him in the water. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> we was gonna see Let's how go viral. Yeah. yeah. That's how, that's how a lot of stuff is. These that's days. crazy. It's wild. But, but it's cool. I mean, and the fact that it happens so fast, yeah, like dude, new that, station down here on the Bernie, Bi like the Bernie Bi deck podcast. Bro. Like, we break news. Up, around. We break the number news. one podcast, man. I'm here. I made actually, it. I, I should tell everybody that you before I started the podcast, you were probably one of the people, you were the person that was pushing me the hardest because oh, sure. we were meeting 
like a couple Sundays before I even th- and you know what's funny is the yeah day I made actually, you I made you pull out your little list on your phone uh-huh. your notes and I yeah. was like let's talk about it and you started going I was like you need to just talk to people yeah let's get some microphones going let's get some cameras we talked about it i think we met twice about it and it was both on sundays and what the funniest part is is now that's the day that i do my podcast typically is on it which this week i'm getting wild i shot two at night you know (laughs) so this is fun uh but sundays are typically the day i like to shoot them and but that was it was just the same idea like same same time it was right around 11 i like to do them and we were talking i think we met at a dutch brothers one day and we were just which was nuts over there Always, dude. Dutch Brothers. I've actually been kind of staying away from Dutch lately, just because. What the calories you love watching your figure? Trying. <laughs> well, it was the problem between that and. If anyone doesn't know, Keegan weighs about buck thirty-five wet. It's, so. <laughs> it's buck fifty. <laughs> okay. But that's because uh, it's because I got a steady pack of Oreos like right here. I just keep putting in there. <laughs> I went on a nice little tear there for about three weeks straight. Is every night, the was, Oreos your abs, or is that the, what you're feeding? That's where the abs would be. Oh, okay. if I didn't eat all the Oreos. <laughs> okay, I they know some people. You know, the they sales. say they're six pack. I didn't know if that was just your no, Oreo pack. Gotcha. No, that they kept running those sales for like a dollar ninety nine for a pack of Oreos, <laughs> and <laughs> it's trouble. I would bring it home, and I like it would start okay, one cup. You know, like one of my cups, because I fill them a cup and then put the wa- uh, the milk in there, right. water. Oh, my God, can you imagine? Dude, that's a quick way to get deported. If I come in and I catch you putting Oreos in a cup and pouring water over the top of them. Why would I do that? Who I don't know. <laughs> I feel like that might be something you would do, you know? I'm not pouring water on my... Chipmunk like, water. Yeah. Just <laughs> get that chipmunk water, that, that red squirrel water. The get red that. squirrel, yeah. So I was eating like two sleet, like, so there's three, there's three rows, right? I was eating two rows a night. <laughs> One sitting? And then going to bed. Nice. Oh, it felt so good. People were like, how are you not not like feeling good? And I was like, I felt great. I was getting up early in the morning and going to the gym for an oh. hour and a half because I That's your energy right there. burn all those Oreos <laughs> off. I'm like, where are my abs? I'm working so hard. They're not coming in. You had them eating Oreos and before I like, go to bed. Oreos. Yeah, right? Oh, man. I don't know why they're like so good because they're probably really not even that good. i just been like going through a phase. So tonight we made jalapeno poppers. Oof. They were killer. We put, um, what did I put in there? Uh, ground beef, bacon, cream cheese, ghost pepper sauce, serranos chopped up with Let me the garlic. about that ghost pepper sauce I right think now. it was the serranos, dude. <laughs> Boy, I really whatever do. Whatever it was, I don't think I, that was I can run a filling. mile and I won't sweat that bad. Oh, and it was bacon. <laughs> did I say bacon? Yeah, definitely. I, we had bacon in there. Put a whole pack of bacon in there with the burger. And the serranos chopped up with the garlic, and we sautéed those with the burger, and then put some fresh serranos chopped up in there as well, Ooh. just to give it a little extra heat. And then that was the paste that went inside of the jalapeno popper. And then you deep fried everything. And then I deep fried <laughs> them all after I breaded them. They were so good. They were, I saw it on oh, the internet. So the internet's terrible because yeah. it's so great sometimes like it's Pinterest. like oh what's this <laughs> right? tasty yeah it looks pretty tasty to me I'll we'll make it? a couple of those tonight. Yeah, but how long did it take you way too long <laughs> dude i could have gone to the bar and got like five plates of those things and, and get hammered and, time. and took yeah. the uber home and probably broke even it, cost, it was worth it they i don't know delicious. how much it really cost because i got other stuff too but they were kind of expensive Nah, it was worth it it was my fingers are on fire i feel like i dipped them like in boiling hot water from scraping out the jalapeno because I was tired of using the spoon. Just glad you didn't touch you your You know eye. when you're doing, you know better. Like when you know not to do something and you're like, ah, I just don't want to deal with that other Little, stuff. That's YOLO, dude. That's the definition, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your poor fingers only, like they're turning colors. I don't know if that's good. I'm going to probably, now I should put the glove on for the rest of the night <laughs> so I just don't touch anything. I make learn my lesson. Put some Vaseline so, while you're at it. Moisten yeah, those something. <laughs> moisten the fingers up. So that's cool, man. Though that's so you got. Have you only talked to one news company? Yeah, I had uh, talked to a few other ones, and then I just never followed up with the interview because it's just a little overwhelming, you know. At least for me. <laughs> well, I wasn't again. I'm just. Are you still doing stuff with your bikes and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you promote it on your page? I do me. I don't know. Well, that's that's how you do you. That's true. I'm trying <laughs> that's to help true. you here. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. I mean, if you're if you're still doing, what are you doing? You help people with customized bikes. You're still riding. I yeah, just riding, racing, that kind of stuff. And I post like videos, creative videos, and yeah, dude, like you that. go to some pretty cool. St- I mean, some of those rides that you're on, are yeah, pretty nuts. 
That's a, that's the cool part about my, mountain biking too. You get to go to places that most people don't even see, like middle of nowhere that cars, trucks, like you can do go do 18 miles out in a direction that would take you five hours to hike. You know what right. I mean? And you're doing it on a bike and then you're coming back, which is fun. Downhill. <laughs> Yeah, no, some of your, your videos are crazy, dude. Yeah. I, I watch you fly down these things, and I'm like, like I know I could do it. Yeah, I need But I that. also know that, like, one wrong move, and you're eating tree, you're eating something. Like, and it, I, there's, it's just <laughs> inevitable eventually. I mean, didn't you just wreck not too long ago? Yeah, I uh, fractured my ankle and tore ligaments, and it's been, I don't know, probably three months since I've been able to, eh, two, two months, and then I'm finally back on the bike. But Man. it still hurts. It swells up all the time, and crazy stuff but it's worth yeah, it it's it, worth it. I, i'm sure it's fun it looks yeah, so nice like i love it. to go but i remember when we uh finally bought bikes here and uh what the hell did i get i got a beach cruiser i got the bright red beach cruiser yeah, and i yeah. put the cheeseburger bell on it i was all peewee hermaned out man i took off out of here <laughs> <Pee-wee> <laughs> and, and i hadn't ridden a bike in like i don't even know I, it had to have been easily 10 years maybe more than how that. long ago was this when you got that it was yeah, two, three okay. years ago when okay. I got that bike. It easily had been 10 years since I'd ridden a pedal bike. And we took off out of here. And I must have looked like the stupidest. I, I probably looked like I smoked a bunch of weed, dude. I took off out of there and my f- cheeks, I was grinning so much <laughs> that I couldn't open my eyes all the way up. Because I was like, I'm having so much fun yeah, on yeah, this yeah. bike. I forgot what bikes are like. And it was, you know, that lust wore out real quick after That's about four That's the feeling miles, of mountain but, biking because you're just doing... Uh, dumb shit and it makes you smile because you you survive you're like i made that yeah let's do yeah. it again <laughs> dude some of the stuff if you haven't if you guys haven't gone on colin's page is it private or is it it's is open, it open? Yeah. it's open dude go it's, crawling ray crawling ray it's crawling <laughs> underscore ray right yep dude go check it out because he's definitely done some wild rides that you were trying to get me on it and i was like ooh, if i crash i'm not gonna be able to do anything for the money while. maker you know my yeah. money maker's not there. Yours is all in the oh, face. Oh, I don't know. I saw you on the news last night, but I was like, huh, he's going to be getting some phone calls. You yeah, should have had um, him put your Instagram handle up there while you were right? up there. Like, yo, let me just hold a little thing with my Instagram. Like, What's up? that would have been hilarious, bro. You would have gone viral for that. Just, oh, like, just hold up the whole time? Just like a piece of cardboard with, like, your Instagram. Like, if you just drew your I Instagram, should've... you should have done that. D- call one of the other news places. <laughs> and then, like. Just, like, make sunglasses with what my Instagram you do is tag. Just, no, just, like, tuck it behind your shirt, like, in your waistband. And just kind of stand there and be like, yeah, yeah. And, like, and kind of have your hands behind your back. And toward the end, just kind of, like, pull out the thing. And just, like, <laughs> <laughs> cold it up. Just be like. Like the, old, Ray. the old Mooney Tunes, like, song. Crawling like. underscore Ray <laughs> at Instagram. Come check me out. Yeah, man. Dude, I, I think it would be hilarious if you did that. I would have totally done just something Just, like, fun. marker it next time, just at Crawling Ray. Or it would have been cool <laughs> if you were just, like, it's just a squirrel, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he, dude, he took off after I saved him. He didn't even care, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, get out of here. Like, that's ridiculous. But I, I can't believe they came right out to your house that fast. Oh, my goodness. I he wonder if it was El Mirage a... within, like, an hour. I was like, for a squirrel, I wonder how, how does that work? Do they just, like, are they, like, they get the lead, and then they, like, take off, or do they assign somebody to it? Like, I wonder how that works. I think so. He pretty, pretty nailed it right there and all that. It's just a big team of, like, you do this, you do this. They're running around all the time. They're just driving around. Yeah, we got to put that video up for you so that it can get shared around a bunch. Because I feel like if you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty cool. We slept together. I slept together pretty fast this morning, so I'll go back through and just make sure you, it looks good. You can good. post it up on this, right? Yeah, we'll put it up. There we'll put it up at some point on this. And um, it's cool looking, though, like the way the little dude was running around at the end and he comes back to you and he's like, all right, man, scratch my back real quick. <laughs> yeah, right? All right, now I'm going to roll. I'm going to roll, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I've... I don't know. Have I ever saved any animals? I don't think so. Maybe. Well, It'll come to me like, after. They're like, uh, <laughs> do you think it was going to bite you? I was like, I don't think so. He was pretty much dead. And at the time when he think, you know, I'm, I'm like reviving him, I don't think he's going to be pissed. You know what I mean? He's going to be in like so much recovery mode. And then he's going to know that I'm not hurting him. Yeah, he was gathering energy. He yeah, wasn't you know, trying to like get I think that's like you. most animals are going to be that way. If you like revive them, they're not just going to wake up and attack you and eat you. It goes to show you, you dude, know? when you're when you're whomped like that, like yeah. when you're done, <laughs> you're just like cool, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> right? You know? Yeah. It was kind of. It was. He looked like one of those little, um, one of those things, prairie dogs. Yeah. 
Those things are hilarious, dude. I thought I was losing my mind one day. I was in a, a bank parking lot. And I kept, I swear to God, I kept seeing like one or two of them like run out and like stand up and like look around and I and then like run back into this little hole and it was like a little drainage hole. Right. And I was like, dude, there's no way. I was like, they, those look like prairie dogs. And I was like, I haven't seen a lot of little chipmunks out here. No, I did definitely. And yeah, I yeah. finally got up close to them and they were prairie dogs, but it was just so weird. I was like, what the hell was that? Well, they say that those, those animals have like the most compassion or something like that because the way they like talk to each other, they yeah, like rely right. on all the little squirrel peoples to all like the live. Communication. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe Man. that's what it was. That's why I'm saying we have that bond now. You ever seen a weasel? No. Bro, those little sons of bitches are mean. <laughs> I don't doubt that. They are the wildest little creature. They're the, no, they're, are they the long ones? They're the kind of look like a ferret. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me tell you, I saw a video of one fight, and I think it was a rabbit the other day on the internet. And you guys had that wild where you grew up? Yeah. We don't have I that saw shit. one one time, and I didn't know what it was. We, I think it was with my dad, and I was I was older, too. Like, I was, you know, grown up. And right. I, and we were just driving down the road, and there was something in the road, and I can't remember what the hell it was pulling, but it had something that was easily twice the size of it, but you couldn't tell what it was because it kind of had its body wrapped around it like when we first pulled up on it. Right. And so like we got out and my dad and I walked up to it and we were like, holy smokes. That I think it was a weasel and it had a swamp rat. And the swamp rat was humongous, bro. And this thing was pulling that thing back down to its little cave. Those things are furious little fighters. Goodness. They can drag things I think like three times the size of their body. Yeah, they're they're gnarly little animals. That's why everyone calls like bad people weasels. Yeah, <laughs> bro, you don't want to be. That's why you be weaseling when yeah, you fight and you yeah, yeah, yeah. scrappy, dude. Like the other thing we got back home is uh, that you wouldn't save if you found it in the bottom of a pool is a fisher cat. The heck is that? It, it's like if a bobcat bred with a ferret. Let's go back to the ferret again. Okay. I like it. All the right. fisher cat, dude, those things are, they got huge Are they like claws. small? Like what's it compared to like Probably a house like cat? like a 40 pounds. Oh, they're bigger than a house cat. 40 pounds? It's bigger than a bobcat. Oh, they'll kill your dog. Oh my Lord. They could kill your dog. It might be a little small. It might be like 35 pounds, right. 40 pounds. A big one might be 40 yeah. pounds. But I gotta look this up. they'll kill your cat all day long. Like I've had a cat that fought one and he made it home. I wouldn't say he won that fight. Right. He was lit up. That was the most bad. I mean, his name was Harley, bro. He was all black. He was the ba most badass cat. He had one of those big old apple heads, like when they got the big wide head. Yeah. But, yeah, he fought a fisher cat. He got away from it. I don't know if something startled it and it, like, got out of there. He just fought the good fight. But Jeez. I remember coming home, and he was just wrecked, dude. And he had, like a claw mark all the way down into his eyes. Remember those things that you would drop in the little terrarium and they would like grow up like little, like what the hell were those things called? They were, you put them in the water and then they would grow like in the water. And they talking about like, the little sponge things, not the sponge things, but they look like, like crystallized, like uh, fraggle rock type shit, man. That's the eighties or it early was, 90s, it man. was, it was a little older than that. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to remember what those things were called, but that's what it looked like down in his eye. Like oh, if you ever seen something like, somebody that had got something in their eye yeah like yeah stabbed yeah. it looks wild dude. right like, that cat had that shit that cat disappeared Fish one time cat, for huh? two years and then just came or a year and just showed back up one day he'd been really? living in like an abandoned house it was crazy dude he I showed just, up he looked bad it was, was like, we're like up? there's I'm no done. way <laughs> and then you looked at his eye you could tell it was him he Dang. was a squirrely little cat yeah named harley i see him jump up out of the bushes one time and tackle a crow it was pretty cool yeah, dude, cats, I love cats. Cats dude. are freaking they're crazy. predators. They are predators. Well, you see some cats. big ones out there in the in the field, huh? You ever see like bobcats or anything like that? Every once in a while, yeah. Dude, speaking of weird animals in Arizona, though, you know, like the Arizona animal, it's like a ring-tailed cat, or something like that. A ring-tailed fox. It's on our license. If you look at it, there's a little ink print of this. It's almost like a lemur-looking animal, and they're so rare. I've only seen one once. Oh, really? I've lived here for 26 years. Yeah, it's on your license. Check it out. It's like this, I don't even know. It's like a fox maybe or a, a cat, but it looks like a lemur. It's got the ring tail. I want one. Right? I'll raise it. Dude, good luck finding one, though. I'm going to catch one. Yeah. <laughs> we'll set some traps. If anybody knows how to set traps, let me know. Keegan, Pokemon. Let me, you know. He's going to catch them all. Hey, it's Lion King's coming out. I need an exotic <laughs> pet. I'm Whoa. feeling it. 
The Lion King. You gonna go watch it? Dude, I haven't seen anything. I don't know if I. I'm not. I'll go I'm, see it. I'm not one for all those remakes though. No, I'll go see those. Any of those live action ones. If I didn't go see Aladdin, Aladdin yet, but any of the live actions so far that I saw from Disney, mm -hmm. like The Jungle Book, that was a great movie. Well, it's when they way. did it the right way, not the flat, the one before that. Right. The newest one that they did that they followed the correct storyline. If it's by Disney, it's going to be good. Yeah. And then you got the, they're going to do, uh, what did they just say? They're going to do Pocahontas. Really? Or no. I think it was Milan. I saw the live action from Milan. It looks really? pretty serious. And then they're going to do That's gonna The Little one. Mermaid. And then that girl, well, I don't really care. I think that the, here's here's my deal on that. I don't care that they want to cast a black actress to do. Oh, Ariel. it's gonna be like it's a not, black not the animation because the new it's live action, so it's a person. So uh, they're gonna have cause the uh, new Lion King's animated. Yeah, but kind it's, of. Or I mean, it's like yeah, yeah, realistic. But it, animation. it looks right, yeah, yeah. and I guess it looks incredible. Yeah. But the uh, um, the Little Mermaid, you know, a lot of people are all pissed off about that because they're gonna have a, a black actress play Ariel, which was a white redheaded. <laughs> True. Um, that is. Eh, which I mean, mermaid. It's a mermaid, so it's not a real person. True. But the top half of her was a human. Well, was it gonna be Ariel? Or is it just gonna be a little? No, she's story? gonna be Ariel. It's gonna oh, be the really? actual story. So a lot of people are pissed off about it. But I just wonder what would have happened if they cast Mulan as. A black person. I mean, we screw shit up all the time. They constantly cast in white people as Egyptian people. Like, it's like, eh, I think you got it wrong. That's just eyeliner you got but on But, I mean, there. that's... Mulan's an Asian story. Like, full-blown. Yeah. This is like you're a samurai. Yeah, I guess... Well, and, and see, see that you, you make know, a like, great point. Yeah. <laughs> that's a great point. Yeah. What about uh, Pocahontas? I could be wrong, but I didn't what see... What if they did Pocahontas like that? That's that's the same story, though. This is about freaking Indians. It'd be different. Like, Indian's the white guy. The white guy came over. So what you're saying is, is that because it's about mermaids... It could be anyone. Yeah. I like think these, that you're supposed to make everybody... Like, like, when they make Mowgli, they made him look just like Mowgli. Right. I just want him to look like the movie that we watched. But the problem that I have is that I understand where they're coming from. Like, everybody that's getting that wants it to happen is they didn't have a lot of black... Yeah, uh, characters that were the lead role, or if any, I don't think any, not until the so, princess and the frog or whatever that was. That thing's gonna kick off on there. Don't worry about it. Just um, you just gotta restart it. Yeah. Um. No, I just think that uh, I I don't. I mean, dude, they know what they're doing. That's what I'm saying. The, but it's here's Disney. here's They're where I think that they know what they're doing is that they know a bunch of white people are going to get pissed off, right? And they're going to say shit. And then it's going to look racist. And then black people are going to love it that it's pissing off white people. <laughs> and it's going to drive the numbers up. Right. Maybe. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it hurts their numbers. Because now I don't really care if it's a black or a white actress. Now I'm curious how it plays out for for the numbers of the movie. Right. Because, dude, The Little Mermaid was one of the biggest... For sure. ...Disney movies ever. So you, like, you can't let that fail. But I'm curious... Now, I don't really don't even care. Like, I don't give a shit if she's black. I want to see what Ursula looks like. I want to see that little crab. <laughs> what was his name? Sebastian? Sebastian, yeah. I want to see Sebastian <laughs> singing shit. I want to see that crab singing, bro. Is that Sebastian or is it the fish? No, it's Sebastian. It was Sebastian. Yeah. I only watched he, that like once or twice when I was a kid. Oh, bro, we watched yeah. it. We watched <laughs> it. My favorite one was um, Robin Hood. I loved the Robin what, Hood. What, with the fox? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was one of my favorites. Man. And then... Uh, Talk about 90s. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. No, that came out of the 70s. Oh, you sure? Yeah. That's one of the oldest ones. Really? Yeah, Robin Hood was one of the old, All old right, ones. All right, take that back. It reminds me of the 90s when I used to watch VHS. Well, I don't, yeah, they could we be, had they're way on, older than me. All these videos are way older. We, than we me. had them all on VHS. Yeah. I mean, we watched a lot of the Aladdin, the Lion King. It's still yeah. way older than I am. But I liked uh, Alice in Wonderland. That shit was trippy. Never saw it. You never saw Alice in Wonderland, I the mean, original. I, uh -uh. 
Holy shit. Yeah. You should probably watch that. That's pretty crazy. You feel like you're on an acid trip. I seen trip. that Johnny Depp one. It was kind of weird. But you feel like you're on an acid trip on that too. But no, the, the I mean, you watch that stuff and you're like, you like look over at your parents like, what the fuck? What, what were we watching? <laughs> like, what is this? But then I find like, dude, my parents just let me watch all kinds of cool stuff. So I remember being in third grade watching uh, Beavis and Butthead when it first came out. <laughs> Jesus. I had to go to a buddy's house for that. <laughs> yeah 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 right cool we used to go over there and i'd stay at Nailed my it. buddy aaron dixon's house and his mom would like let us stay up late and watch that shit talk about i mean now the kids watch family guy rick and oh, morty yeah. they watch all that stuff yeah. so it doesn't matter but i think that it like in a way it kind of advanced us like when we For started sure. watching south park like dude that shit's way clever way oh, yeah. way clever yeah. like you're not you gotta you gotta know what's going on you're and if you're it. picking it up right and you're absorbing it like right yeah that's why i like about rick and morty especially oh, the intellect God. that you need to like pull up everything out of that and you're like, oh, this is hilarious anybody that doesn't <laughs> like rick and morty yeah they just don't get it you don't get it it's <laughs> cool though i'm it's cool that's coming what's that a new season really it's coming a year and a half is flying by <laughs> a year and a half it, I'm serious. I think it comes out here like the next few months or something Jeez. like that. I'm ready for some Rick and Morty. Heck yeah. Did you watch that Black Mirror? Any of the Black Mirror? Nope. I just got over Stranger Things. So We're almost done. As soon as we finish this podcast, I'm going out there to pour a glass of wine. And I'm doing a good job not having a drink on the podcast. I feel like it makes it a little bit more... We're going to have a drink at night again, but I feel like when I go to edit it, I'm going to be like, delete. Oh, right. I hear myself drinking and, and I'm like, oh my God, away. why do people want to be around me? <laughs> this is terrible. I sound like such a doofus. Keegan, uh, that's how you always sound to me. It's the right thing. I know. That's, yeah. It's <laughs> hard when you got to, like you said, when you put this stuff on and you're like, oh, I hear myself. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. That and you have to edit your own videos. And I watch it like over and over uh -huh. because I'm like, oh, maybe I got to sync this video part up right here. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool though. Like, I'm getting faster at it. Like, even when you sent those videos to me, I was just like, tr -tr 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 -tr. yeah, put it them all less together. Than Thirty minutes for sure. Put transitions between them, and um, I'm gonna take. I'll probably take some courses or something on it, and like buy some more programs. I honestly think that I'd like to start doing it part time. I really enjoy it. Like, I enjoy doing the editing. Yeah, I enjoy same, um, getting better with the just how to do it and then i mean on top of it i love doing this yeah you just gotta keep doing it it'll come i keep just need more it. people hey man interesting people if you know somebody that's interesting that's if they live in the valley especially because i'm really not into doing um video in ones yet i oh, can yeah. i can do it i just don't want to maybe anyone want to start a fundraiser for a, you know go fund me for keegan he can start traveling i got a couple <laughs> people yeah no and i mean but if you know, any interesting, my sister just sent me a, a number to a DJ that does a bunch of DJing out here and stuff like that. And That'd he's pretty big. Um, I'd like to work on getting him on here and you know, the Duran episode from last night's going to be a lot of fun, nah, dude. That guy's it. voice. He just, yeah, he not was, he was, mine is not in the, uh, we're just white. <laughs> yeah, right. We're just so white. You can tell. It, it's cool. He just sounds so cool like even a white jamaican person sounds way cooler than i do yeah but they just the way they like they just have like a vibe when they're talking you're like son of a bitch i can't do that you know <laughs> but it's cool he's he's such a nice guy he's he didn't get too far into a lot of his stories because man some of the stories like he he grew up in uh jamaica till he was 17 graduated high school and then his parents were like you can go like, you know when you did, like, good and the weekend's here and your parents are like, you can go stay at your cousin's for the weekend? Right. Like, his mom was, his parents were like, you can go stay in the United States with your aunt in the Bronx at 17. Heck yeah. So he did it. Like, can you think about living in Jamaica and you're like, I can go to New York? That would be way wicked crazy. Right. Yeah. So he bounced between there and Fort Lauderdale for a few years and then ended up out here eventually. And Nice. Um, he really likes it out here. He's a cool kid though. Like he's, um, it's just weird to see like somebody that you can click with that is from a totally different part of the world. Right. Like totally different upbringing, but yet, especially spending some time in New York, you got to experience like the music like I did cause we're about the same age. Oh, so okay. 
a lot of the hip hop and stuff that was going on during that time when we were 17, you know, Jesus, it was crazy. 50 Cent, right. all those guys ripping it up out there. <laughs> so he was a cool kid, man. It was fun to have him in here. And so I'm slowly, you know, we've been talking that we got to get you on here anyway, just having guests. And then you just went and blew up and went famous on us. And I was like, mm-hmm. God damn, dude, I better get him before his fee goes up. <laughs> right. Before jalapeno poppers ain't going to cut it. <laughs> you know, you got to, you got to do your thing. So, <laughs> Oh, that's, that's what that was. That was a bribe. To that was over. my bribe. Yeah, I got like, jalapeno like, poppers. He texts me. He's like, Hey man, I'm making some jalapeno. I was like, I'm on my way. That was the saddest <laughs> bribe ever. But like, I can't help what I wanted. I saw him on the internet. <laughs> this friggin' internet, dude. You know, the, you know, the key to my heart. It's all food. Oh, me too, man. I love food and Speaking bacon. Of, you were filming. Does that mean you're gonna come out with little uh, side I don't piece, know. little podcast? Yeah, I don't know. I would just want to show everybody like what I was making. I like to cook. I like to like try. I I just I don't like to follow ingredients. That's the, the best part, though. It's I like, like to art. Spec- oh, the clove, one clove, or like. What's a clove? The whole thing, right? Yeah, right. Yeah, all right. Just smash that up and put it in the pan. <laughs> So, you know, some people, I remember when Crystal and I first got together, bro, she would get so pissed because I would just dump hot sauce and everything and cook it like that. And right. I was just, a, I was an animal. I just thought everything. Just grab the whole pantry, put it in the pan. Yeah, and pretty it. much, yeah. dude. I would just do that type of stuff, pour some A1 on it. It's good to go. <laughs> A one man, that's it's it's A and one. It's all in the it's in the beginning. It's yeah, the right. It's word. the first thing you do. It's all the top <laughs> stuff, top shelf, bud. I never thought about that. Oh my gosh. So yeah, so what do you got planned for the rest of the weekend? Man, I don't know. Just chill. It's been a crazy week. It's been hot. Yeah, dude. It was. So, it didn't even look like it was that bad today, but it was hot. It was 108 and like humid. I got 112 where I was. Really. Yeah, it probably was. But I, had, I was tough. lumping a bunch of crates of chlorine, and it was hot as hell. Yeah, hanging. I was hanging over the edge of a pool today. Freaking red. Tough. Pools out here, man. People, they they love them. I hate them. They just don't like to. Do, I don't, <laughs> but hey, you I know what? That's, that's what keeps us in business. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'd hate to have one, but, you know, I like to service all y'all. I'll take care of you guys, whatever you right. need. You want to you take care of pools? I got you. Right. <laughs> Everyone know what you do here? Um, I've never really talked about it on my podcast. What what my job is? I mean, well, if anyone needs to know, Keegan is the man who runs. He runs shit. I just <laughs> I pretend to run. I, I go for runs in the morning. It's yeah, right, like, right, right, right. Yeah, no, it's it's a fun job. I I don't know. I got super blessed to get that job. Like I still. I wouldn't say that you worked your ass off. I did. Yeah, but like. I was blessed to find an industry that had a position like that. True. That I could freaking work my way into. I was set for it. I was built for a position like this. So if anybody doesn't know, I I help. um, I do outside sales for a really large um, pool distributor or pool product distributor. And so... I do, you know, uh, Colin and his brother. Colin works with his brother, and I, his his yeah, brother's We met account. probably what seven years ago when you were mm-hmm. working at the other company. At the other yeah, place. Just like a yep. as a desk clerk or like I, even a, you I were started a manager, as a driver, think, right? Yeah. When we first met, I was just a counter guy, right? Yeah. Yep. And you moved up, and then and I yeah. just kept moving up, and uh, and now I get to go out and help, you know, guys with a bunch of different stuff. Whether it's like when we sat down for your brother. He was getting ready to open. Uh, he was he was talking about opening a retail store in an area. Shoot, dude! Six years ago, when I got in this industry, you helped me like from the get go. You built this little binder with, <laughs> with what you would you call it the cheat book? Keegan's cheat book. Yeah, Keegan's literally they still use it to this day at That's the company. A great that, cheat that book. it literally has every. They take my name out of it yet? I don't know. <laughs> they probably do. Every O ring, every like you just flip through it, and it was just so well organized and so well thought through that I still have it. Me on, too. On the desktop here. Yeah. And uh, just I like love it. Sit, it's yeah. just sitting up there in the corner because it was. It's a good cheat book, and I should go through and do another one. But it's one of those things where uh, my job in a lot of industries is going away. There's just no personal connection anymore. Where true, you know, like when we sat down with your brother and he wanted to open a retail store, and we looked at the area, you know, we took the time to look, and I reached out to the people that were gonna find out if it was a good area for him. Right. And it didn't turn out to be that it was gonna be enough houses and pools for him, so we we stopped it, and before he sunk a bunch of money into something that just cost him a bunch of money. Right. 
you know? And so I get to do cool stuff sometimes. And there's been days where I've taken these, uh, I remember one day I took these ledge lounger chairs that go on Baja steps okay. out to this like mansion. And it was for these bulldogs to be able to get up onto the step from the Baja step because nice. it was too deep. Right. And so they were like your squirrel. As soon as they would step off the first step, they would sink. And all you would see is the tongue floating up atop of the water <laughs> like a bobber, like a fishing bobber. And right. then the lady would have to stick like the pole in and like drag the, the, the dog dogs out. out. My goodness. So... I brought these ledge loungers that are like $700 a piece, $800 a piece. Um, and they're like a plastic. So like the dog's going to scratch them up and stuff, but they're meant to be in there. Oh yeah. And better than that. Though. So I got to spend a day like setting them up on the, the Baja step and getting them all positioned. So the dog, you know, we got one out there. I'm going to go bring a couple more out here in a few weeks. There you go. And, uh, cool house but like those are the days that it's just super neat to get you used out to travel all over arizona I, too or yeah i drive yeah i spend a, i used to go a lot further i used to go way north i used to go all the way up into uh sedona like no once kidding. a week wow every thursday i would drive and do a whole loop through prescott sedona cottonwood up through jerome no cut kidding. back down and then um spent some time in tucson not a big fan of going down there because it's just <laughs> the direction i don't know what it is i just don't like to drive it's not as it's just that not, flat not, drive it's just Tucson. flat yeah. yeah it bugs me yeah um but in the valley i finally got it honed down so i don't have to run the whole valley i can just kind of stay to there you go. from the west side to scottsdale and you know yeah, anthem north and valley, down and, yeah yeah so yeah I, dude i got super blessed there was a few times i thought i was gonna end up going out and cleaning pools because it is a good job it's a good industry and but i have my eyes set on this and i worked my friggin tail off that until i true, got it and, sure. and now the part is, is just keep like there's no end goal you just got to keep working your tail off because you don't want to have like the end goal like i got it and now what yeah right you get lazy you get compliant so you just got to keep pushing so it's a cool job man i'm always just looking different ways to expand it this year uh this guy started a facebook page you know and that's kind of been a cool different avenue he started this facebook page just for you pool guys and it's like up over 800 pool guys within like a, you know wow a year so it's one of those things where that's a, a totally uh it's totally different than anything i've ever dealt with before because that's 800 pool guys communicating with each other all at once and oh, it's right. all from this one area and so there's times that it can backfire and people get frustrated and you know maybe there's alcohol that fuels it or whatever it is when they're at home with their their facebook fingers and they're over there typing stuff but at the other times there's a lot of cool stuff that happens on it and i've got to promote a lot of cool stuff and i've got to set up raffles and do fun stuff that nobody that does my job really was you know they don't do that they don't think to hit 800 guys like right. that and so it's fun for me because i'm younger than anybody that does this in our true in our group so i get to kind of bring experiment a different style with, yeah dude there's been days where you know i was doing stuff like that it's like i got paid to be on facebook and i made money like i sold stuff to people like really? I, got, I, I talked to people and yeah i got a couple chemical business from a few people off that page nice. so it's neat you know it's one of those things you just gotta know how to treat people and yeah, you're born salesman for sure. Yeah, just born people person. True. I not even salesman. Yeah, you're right. Just people person. You I can talk, sell yeah. if I if trust me if I want to sell something. But I that's, can. That's but what I hate that's. Doing it. Well, I was gonna say that's what I learned in sales. It's they don't buy the product; they pay, buy it because of you. Yeah. It's like when I was like doing leasing and stuff, it was m not typically because the crappy apartment you're selling. It's because you were really great and you provided right. comfort and you know, same same thing. Like. Don't let them get it twisted. You can try to catch me slipping. I know most of the stuff, like no inside doubt. and out. Right. So it kind of I got it covered. Catch you slipping. Yeah, you're not gonna catch me slipping. Like some of the the newer stuff that I'm taking on, the like tile and stuff like that. It's newer for me, so I'm still trying to learn that. But like right. cool stuff, I had myself. I was fine, so it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. So I was pretty comfortable and confident. So I don't feel the need to have to sell you hard on product that's neutral around the valley you just want to you want to buy from the person you like buying from and, right and if i got to work out a f few minor details to make it so it makes it more comfortable for you to do it that's the people person aspect. that's what we yeah. do so that it's a cool job dude I, I grew up wanting to do that you know really? when i was a mover they used to stick me 
here's the paperwork, buddy. Go talk to the customer. Go get everything signed. Go do this. I don't want to talk to that guy. I'm like, okay. You know? And then it was like, all right, now I want to leave the job and I want to get paid more. <laughs> right, right. So, you know, luckily I learned that part of it. You don't let people take advantage of you too long. So, well, we should go watch a little bit more alien stuff before the end of the night. You know, I'm constantly rocking a NASA, NASA shirt. Bring or, it back. Yeah, man. I like these NASA shirts. That one's actually pretty stylish. I've been, I'm trying to find like cool new shirts for each podcast. My closet's going to get full. Well, you got to try, uh, you know. I rotate them out. The local plug trail print makes a local cool I, thing. I yeah, heard yeah. there's a guy. Yeah. 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 Nick, yeah, he's the one who actually got it, the whole started. The whole story started and whatnot. I posted well, on Facebook. Shout out to Nick. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's wild. Just got, he posted it on Facebook? Yeah, Facebook and Instagram. He's the one that reposted everything and had the uh, news channels contact me and all that silly stuff. Man, I wonder how many views his thing's got going. Probably more than mine, for sure. I don't have a Facebook, so I don't know what's going on that that part of i think that's where the news picked it up was facebook that would make more sense than instagram huh we'll have to look and try to figure yeah. out where the hell he posted it yeah facebook i don't know <laughs> it's so confusing how all that stuff works because like do you have rights does he have rights to who has rights yeah would you figure out today anything it's kind of confusing <laughs> i read Fair stuff enough. for a while it's it's i mean you have copyrights because like I think because filmed you it, put right? you filmed it and you put text over it so you edited it. Oh sure. Um, in my eyes, you edited it because you put text over it. Right. So, as far as I'm concerned, it's yours. He took it off your page, which you allowed him to share it. Yeah, for sure. So I don't really know how that works. Like I, and I try to Google it, dude. It's well. Then another cool thing is it's not like he was taking credit for it. No. He's the one that reposted. He actually contacted me through Instagram. I was like, hey your number people are trying to contact you so it's just it's wild because like i feel like everybody wants to go viral right right a lot of people want to go viral right but i don't think anybody really knows what to do when the shit happens no man it's weird <laughs> it is well like, especially like on my i wasn't planning for any of this i wasn't thinking it was gonna go cool you know just again it's posting it for my buddies that's what it was check this out organic yeah, that's yeah, yeah. what they can't produce. True, they can't produce organic stuff. Yeah, they can just recreate shit that's story. already working. You know, I mean, you rep you reproduced organic, but not on purpose. Nature just did it. Like somebody already did it, but you did it. And oh, wait, you saying because I gave the chipmunk CPR? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> what was the red squirrel? Oh yeah, my bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The news calling chipmunks. Fucking news. <laughs> Do your homework, news. Fake news. Come on, fake news. <laughs> That's why we had to bring him on the Bernie Dyke podcast. I was completely screwed it up. Uh, it's not a chipmunk. It's, not a, it's chipmunk. a red squirrel. I've got five hats of red squirrels in the other room just to prove it. <laughs> Colin saved all of them. <laughs> it's not true, guys. It's, not true. it's totally true. Don't listen to him. Uh, they're going to gonna start calling me Squirrel Boy. Come uh, on. <laughs> squirrel Boy. Oh, my God. So... All right, well, we'll wrap this up. It was fun. Thanks for coming out for the yeah, Bernie man. Dyke podcast. Um, again, check out his Instagram page at crawlin underscore ray <laughs> at is. Instagram, sucker. Nice. And you know me at the Bernie Dyke podcast. And uh, on Instagram, Bernie Dyke, or is it Bernie underscore Dyke? I Bernie think. underscore. I Come on. Remember. I'll do this Didn't one. we start Bernie, Bernie Dyke? I think so. Yeah, Bernie Dyke, when was, that was your alter ego when we were in the gym. Yeah. That See, we when, go back. I didn't just yeah. like, I didn't just fame whore this out because I knew he was famous. Like, I'd known him, I'd known him for a minute. Right. Yeah, we st he started Bernie Dyke. I mean, right. actually, Ingrid started Bernie Dyke. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that your name? Like, yeah. legally? But I never used <laughs> yeah. it. I was like, always like, I don't want to tell nobody my middle name's Bernie. And then you're like, Bernie Dyke. Yeah, it's awesome. That's <laughs> awesome. Bro. Like, cool. You like it? Let's rock with this shit. Let's go, man. I'm in. Yeah. Here so, goes, Bernie Dyke. So, here Bernie we go. Dyke. Bernie Dyke podcast. Uh, got Colin out here. It was a good night. Freaking the squirrel saver, Rasmussen. <laughs> there right? you go. Did I say it right? Yep. Three syllables. <laughs> squirrel saver. <laughs> yeah, man. So thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. Night. Peace. <laughs>